what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own discord bot and how to host it for absolutely free now i made a video like this a couple of years ago using a replit and uptime robot but since then replit's got a little greedy and now you got to pay a bunch of money for everything and uptime robot stopped supporting uh discord bots but i got a new method for you here today so let's go ahead and jump right into this video so obviously, first and foremost, you want to be at the Discord developer portal. And you want to make uh, your own application. Now I already have an application called YouTube here. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that one. Now once you are set up on Discord and you have a bot, we are going to go to AWS. And we're going to use an EC2 instance. Now, under normal circumstances, Amazon EC2 can be costly depending on how you use it. Now, we're going for the free tier. They give us 750 hours per month uh, using a Linux system and a T2 micro or a T3 micro instance. Now, there's roughly about 730 hours in a month, so they give you a little padding, 750 hours that you can have absolutely free as long as you follow these specific guidelines here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to use a Linux-based framework, and we're, we're going to use T2 Micro, which is the free tier eligible instance. Now we're going to be using Ubuntu. And we're going to give our application a name. I'm going to call it YouTube, because why not? And now again, make sure everything is free tier eligible, which it is here, free tier, free tier. Now we're going to make our own key pair. And keep this in the back of your mind. We need this key pair for later. So make sure it's saved in a, in a, a file you can find later on. I'm going to call this just video, because again, why not? Uh, so there we go, video.pim. That's going to be my downloads folder for later. And from this point, uh, you just want to click Launch Instance. All right, so we can see that the instance has been launched. So now we're going to go back to Instances. And it's currently initializing, so we need to give it a second. So this is how I host Cosmo, which is my own Discord bot. And if anyone wants to give Cosmo a try, maybe get some inspiration for their own bot, you can click the first link in the description or check out the showcase video. This is the first ever AI bot on Discord that can be trained with data for your own server, so you can have your own 24-7 knowledgeable AI assistant. It also has an embed dashboard, sleek welcome messages, and a ticket dashboard, along with 20 other commands. And again, if you guys you know want to check that out, the link will be in the description. But let's go ahead and get right back into this video. All right, so we can see our instance is running, and both status checks have passed. So we're going to go ahead and connect to Ubuntu and connect to the console. So here we go, we are in the Ubuntu console, and from this point you don't need to do anything else, because obviously we don't actually have the bot code. So now, we need code to run our bot. Now I'm just pulling this guy's Discord code off GitHub. And if you guys already have your own code, awesome. If you need code, you can use this, or uh, one of the easiest ways to get your own bot code is off GitHub. People have hundreds of bots just open sourced. It's really easy to find them. You just type in GitHub, Discord bot, you know, Python, JavaScript, whatever you're looking for. And tens, if not hundreds of listings will be there that you can use. Now, if you guys want me to show you how I create my own bot, I can do that in the future. But for today's video, I'm just going to be using this template. So what you need to do is once you have the template, as you're going to click on code and download the zip file. Now, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do that again. And from this point, once you have it downloaded, you need to either go to VS Code, or if you're using a Python template, you can use PyCharm, or Replit is actually good for just editing code. You don't have to pay for anything. 
And so I have all the code here. Now I did have to alter a couple things because it was three year old code. So I can put the updated code in the description. At this point, you need to make sure the bot code runs. So go ahead and run it in the VS Code or PyCharm or Replit or wherever just to make sure it runs. Because once we upload it to Ubuntu, you'll have to re-upload it to make changes. You can't, um, you can't alter the code in Ubuntu. So we're going to open a terminal. And I'm going to use a git bash terminal. And you guys, by default, may not have that. You'll have to install git if you want to use the git bash terminal. But just using a simple command prompt would be fun. So make sure Python is installed. We have it installed here. And from this point, you just want to run the code. And when I pull Discord up here, we see the YouTube bot is online. And just so you guys know, it is in fact the same bot. We're going to go and turn it off. And we see it just turned off. So the code is running and working. So always make sure for this method you test the code before you upload it and make sure it works. So now that we know our code works, we need to upload it to Ubuntu. And for that, I'm going to open a command prompt. So you need to type scp-i. And now at this point, you need to put where your .pem, so mine was the video.pem, you need to put where the directory is. So mine's in the downloads folder. And so I'm going to type downloads slash video.pem. There we go, video.pem, downloads folder. And now we're going to type dash R, which just means we're going to be uploading a folder of files and not just one single file. And now we need to put the directory of where our actual bot code is at. So mine is also in the downloads folder and the captures here. This is where my code is at. So again, I'm going to type downloads slash captures slash python dash discord dash bot dash i should have shortened the folder title so or folder name so this wouldn't be so annoying dash main so python 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 Discord bot template main. Make sure everything is spelled correctly. And from this point, we're going to space, type Ubuntu. Put an at symbol. And I'm going to make this a little wider. And now, now we need to go back to EC2 and click on your instance. And we're going to copy the public address right here. And we're going to paste it. Put a colon slash home slash Ubuntu. So this is how you need to structure it. Directory to the dot pim, directory to the discord bot, Ubuntu at the public address and run it and type yes. It's just saying this is an unrecognized address. So there we go. We just uploaded all of the files. So now we can go to our instance here and we can open, we can go into the folder we just uploaded. So you cd into the folder. So mine is the Python Discord bot template main folder. So now we're in that folder. And at this point, Python is not installed. So we have to install Python. Before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and update all the packages just so everything is up to date. So we're going to type sudo apt update. And 
And now we're going to install Python. So again, we're going to type sudo apt install python3 python3 dash pip space dash y. Now to run this code, um, I want to run it in a virtual environment. So again, we have to install the packages to be able to use a virtual environment. So we're going to type sudo apt as normal, install python 3.12 dash v e and v space dash y. And this is going to install the virtual environment. And at this point, we can create the virtual environment. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Python 3. All right, so now that we created the virtual environment, let's open it. So you'll type source, V, E, and V. Um, I think it's bin activate. Okay, there we go. So now we're in the virtual environment and we're gonna install all of the packages for the bot. Now my packages are already in a requirements.txt folder. There's two of them. But for instance, if you didn't have the requirements.txt folder, you would type pip install Discord, and then pip install requests. Now, one thing I am just remembering that I didn't install is I decided to implement .env so I can hide the token and don't hack my bot because the token's going to be changed. Just throwing that out there. I'm not an idiot. Um, so we also need to install .env, but if you guys don't um, use .env, you don't have to do this. Pip install python-.env. But I would always try and hide your uh, your bot token or a API, whatever, whatever, anything, any secret keys, always put it in a .env so you don't get hacked or anything. So I would definitely advise using .env so now that everything is installed, we can try running the code. And there we go. It just booted up. Um, it says dot help, but I think it's actually ex exclamation point help. So there we go. Now I've, I've already tested this code. The, uh, the memes don't work because the link they gave, I guess, is... The link they gave, I guess, is no good. This link here, it's to, I guess, the dude's Heroku app. It just, it doesn't work. I guess it's offline. But I know it's not going to show me anything because I'm not in a not safe for work channel. But just to show that the commands are working, you can type that and it will give you a response. So just the fact that it gives you a response, the bot is working, it's online, everything works. Obviously, because dot help is, or uh, exclamation point help is working. So now that we see everything works, we have to, we're almost done. We have to now host this code in a session because if we were to close this folder, or I'm sorry, this tab right here, the bot would turn off. So we need to turn the bot off for a second. Now to host it in a session, all you need to do is type in TMUX. And all TMUX is, is it's a uh, terminal multiplexer offers you the ability to run sessions in the background even when you close the tabs or turn the uh, computer off or anything like that is going to keep running in the background so at this point all we need to do is just rerun the code 
And now it's going to turn back on and it will stay running even when we close the tab. So we can go ahead and close the tab and I'm going to give it about two minutes and we're going to run a command again and we're going to show that the bot is still running and it will continue to run unless there's some kind of bug in the code that would turn it off. But so it's been about three minutes. The uh, YouTube bot is still on. We can use the help command and up pops the help embed. So the bot's still running. It's going to keep running. And as long as you guys follow the uh, criteria here, you should be absolutely free for an entire 12 months, so a full year. And after the full year, if you guys want to keep going for free, you can just make a brand new account and just follow this video again and keep hosting. But after the 12 months, when they start wanting to charge you again, it's like two pennies an hour to host. So it's not incredibly expensive, but you know, obviously, if you're on a limited income and you just prefer to be free, you can just create another uh, another account and just rehost it and have another completely uh, free year. Well, there you go. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to uh, drop a like. Let me know down in the comments if this is useful or if you have a better way to host your bot for free. And again, if you guys want to check out my bot Cosmo, that link will be down in the description, or you can watch this video right here on the screen to see the showcase. Well, that's been it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.